So the first distinction in thinking about what philosophy can do and bring to the social sciences is to distinguish between something as a body of knowledge and as a method. And I think philosophy is a method rather than a body of knowledge. You get to be decent at philosophy by practicing the, the argumentative analysis, not by learning a lot of stuff about Kant. Politics is everywhere around us on all different levels. So we have local politics, we have national politics, global politics, international politics, there's politics around your dinner table, there's all kinds of political situations. And so political scientists study all those different levels at which politics takes place. And so they, by studying politics, you can, you can understand debates that take place in all these kinds of levels. Psychology is a quite diverse and broad discipline. Uh, it studies people as individuals, as part of groups, in their relationships, as well as how they relate to the society around them. Um, it can be helpful to other social sciences because it draws attention to the lived experience of uh, people in relation to different social problems, social issues, and so on. So the argument of analysis, the analysis of concepts and the making of distinctions is something that I think underpins all the social sciences and is essential to getting policy decisions right across the whole range of interactions between the individual and society and the state. I think that in interdisciplinary discussions on big key issues that, that we face as societies, politics contributes really um, an understanding of institutions and processes and how people as individuals and as collectives and as groups can actually get involved in these kinds of processes and in these kinds of institutions in order to try to affect change.